What is up everybody, right here, and welcome back to some more Beyond Two Souls. We are in shit condition, so... Can I wash myself up? I'm pretty sure I was bleeding. I know the, I know the deal. I remember Indigo Prophecy's first level. Walk out with blood, everybody's alarmed and shit. Alright, so hopefully that helps. Uh... Can I use a towel? I cannot. Make my way over to Ryan Seacrest. Let's go. Jody, all right? Don't touch me! I want to go now. Right, and we're leaving. I knocked papers off his desk. Do you think that's going to hurt me? I think it might hurt me. Or I'm, it might not have. Clean job. Ooh, very pretty. Cold a sack. Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and. Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun. Maybe meet some new friends. Oh, this is going to backfire. Go on. All right, all right. Oh, don't forget your present. Nice pink car. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. All right, so... We're at a birthday party. We just digress... <clears throat> we just de-aged, so we're jumping among different points in Jody's life, I guess. Alright, Aiden, investigate the room. Oh, I can't go in. I guess... Doors have to be open to go through? Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in, I gotta go. Come in, Jody, don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and these dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool, thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. What the hell? Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit Four with my uncle. Unit Four, the paranormal department. Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Uh, it's gonna be that kind of party. All right. I'm gonna want some rock. Let's do it. Country pop. Yeah. What kind of garbage is that? It's right over. Hey. You know something from this century. Something really popping. 
I can't switch over to Aiden. Kirsten, you're a genius. Yeah. Daddy, you want one? No thanks. I I, I don't drink. So. You don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. Yeah, the light that puts me behind bars. <laughs> I want to stay sober. Thank you. Especially at this tender age. Can I fuck with things in here? <laughs> You're a bitch to me. I hope you guys like that, you know? What's up? Uh, nothing. No, thanks. Yeah, I'm not going to be like you. I'm not going to be a delinquent. Right. Ah! Maneuverability! Come on. No! Oh! No, no. Put it down! I didn't want to do that! God damn it. I accidentally picked up the beer. No, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. We're not making you that kind of girl, okay? Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? Uh... I'm in a different program. With, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Uh... Let's continue to be sociable. Why yeah. not? We work in the in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age. So uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in uh, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? That's a lie. New York. Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. Is that a metal band? Rock band? You, what are you into? Uh, let's continue to be sociable. I just didn't want to tell them where I came from. It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read. And I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I, can I ask you something? Oh, here we go. Why are you in Unit 4? Uh, let's be evasive. I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't, like, upset you or anything. Nah, that's okay. Slowdowns. Are you, you up for it? Sure, why not? You seem like a good chap. Sure. <sighs> I just wanted to be careful because you never know what I can or can't say that could compromise my position, my place here in society. You know, I'm 
sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Oh, here we go. Mutual. You're not so bad looking yourself. You know, like other girls, I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Oh yeah, I have a paranormal creature inside me. I guess you could say that. Uh, you scandal! <laughs> no love making on the first date. Oh, she's happy. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? No, <laughs> great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No power. No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. <laughs> I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake, and most important, to open my birthday gifts. You're really self-conceited, aren't you? Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Aw, oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Just gonna yeah. throw it. Just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys are dead. No, seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. <gasps> begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Okay, Aiden? Yeah, Aiden? She's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's kick her ass. Kick their asses, come on. Stop! Oh, Mr. Sagipster Darkness. Bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> <laughs> The first moment I saw I her. I beg you, please <laughs> let me out! Please! Did someone say Kate? Please! I want to get out! Please! I want to get out! I beg yeah, you, please let started. me out! You little bitches. Okay, I don't feel guilty at all now. I'm going to make them pay. Are you going to let me make him pay? Get me out of here. Please. Let's make their lives hell first. Hmm, I guess I can't right now.
No, fuck these guys. Revenge. Go, Aiden. I hope this makes you guys learn your lesson. Well done. Very funny, Steven. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. What else can I do? Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, wait for me. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason to panic. The windows. Try the windows. Um, no, we're not letting you get away with a phone call. Guys, this is a joke. It's really not We're not scared of stupid tricks, do you? Hear me? Alright, where's. Okay, I think I had enough fun. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't kill anybody. Quite frankly, I thought they deserved it, even if it wasn't the morally right thing to do. All right, I'll try to be more morally paragon. But seriously, what dicks? I'm kind of thirsty. Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's going to be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here, sweetheart. All right. The Dr. Matthews? Anything on this post board? Actually, this is a perfect spot for me to end the video. We just crashed a birthday party because people tried to be dicks to us. Now, any other any other scenario, I probably would have taken the high road and leave, but I know the feeling of being bullied, so... I don't know, it just got to me. I, that really aggravated me to see, so... We taught him a little lesson, granted... It was kind of on the renegade side of things, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I encourage you to leave a like as it helps and benefits the growth of the channel and tells me you like the series. Next time we will see this Dr. Matthews, see what he has to cook up for us because apparently we're in trouble and we de-aged again. So I'm Rai. Happy gaming, everybody.